As always, number one, if you guys haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, subscribe below. Right? And like. And, and like. like. Give us like. We put on tons of videos every week about lifestyle, real estate, all that fun stuff. And then number two, if you're even thinking about buying, selling, leasing, investing, anything to do with real estate, uh, give us a call, email, text, whatever. Whatever pleases your soul, we work 24-7 for you 24-7, that's 24/7. right. 24-7. So call, text, email, anytime. Cool. So, yeah, so right now we are standing right next to the project that's going up. You know, it's a $400 million project that was started in 2017. But what I really want to talk about is just the location that it's going to be. So you can see behind me, a nice little baseball field, softball field, you know, soccer nets, all of that. You know, behind us over there, they used to have um, some tennis courts. They're going to be revamping this whole thing. So, you know, they're not going to get rid of all this outdoor space. The neighborhood wouldn't allow it. You got the Charles River right there, so you can actually rent kayaks, canoes, uh, paddle boards, all that fun stuff right there on the river. You go up and down the river, easy access over to Cambridge, over to Belmont. Um, you know, this whole little neighborhood and pocket is going to be revamped and revitalized, and it's an awesome little pocket to be living in this new stuff that's being built as we speak. That's what we're standing on right now. So I'll let Leo talk a little bit more about that actual development that we're standing right next to. Cool, yeah, so let's talk about actual Arsenal Yards project. So like Taylor said, started in 2017, right? It's a $400 million project. So it is a massive, massive project. Uh, rivals close to what Assembly Road did over in Somerville. Yeah. And in terms of actually what it's gonna include, it's gonna have over 300 residential units, right? It's gonna have over 50 retailers, restaurants. Um, it's gonna have a movie theater. It's gonna have a movie theater. Uh, they're gonna have a large grocery store, supposedly Roche Brothers, uh, TBD though. Uh, they're also gonna have a hotel, I think, right? They're gonna have a hotel, and they're also gonna have over 100,000 square feet of uh, lab space too. So it is- and Biotech and all that stuff. Yep, yeah. yep. So there's going to be a ton of uh, medical sciences over here, biotech, pharma, all that good stuff. So it is going to be an absolutely massive project. Um, there, it's going to take a little bit, you know, it's going to obviously it's huge, take so a it takes some time. It'll take some time to build. It's been three years. It ain't done yet. It ain't done yet. But they're <laughs> definitely, you know, they're definitely well along the way. Um, and it's definitely a game changer for this part of Watertown. Oh, yeah. This whole neighborhood and the surrounding areas, right? So if you're living in Belmont or even that, you know, Strawberry Hill neighborhood of Cambridge, you know, that all is really close by. So those, all those neighborhoods are going to continue to appreciate because you're now closer to another hub, right? There's the huge hub that's in Austin. You've also got, you know, the South Bay Plaza. You've got um, our video, which if you haven't seen, check it out in Somerville where we highlight Assembly Square. Yep. That's just like this. Or Kendall and MIT. Yep. And that whole revamped neighborhood, that's exactly what's happening right here, right now. So check it out. Think about looking here. This is a great up-and-coming spot. So we were just at the Arsenal Yards, but don't forget that uh, you also have the Watertown Mall here, right? We're right behind it, um, and there are some pretty big retailers here. Well, yeah, there's two giant retailers. Other than that, it is a, a you know a smaller little mall. Right. Um, there is a DMV inside that is also open on Saturdays. Not a lot of people know that, which is a pretty cool thing to you know. Yeah, I have actually here, took my uh, license test over there, so I know that DMV very well. <laughs> exactly. So you know they have some restaurants. They have uh, Starbucks inside. Yep. They have Carter's if you want like kids jewelry, things like that. So yeah, it's still a small little retail shop, but there's two mega giants. You got the Best Buy, you got the Target, obviously. Everyone loves the Target. I just bought, <laughs> I just bought a big box of diapers myself. Yeah. So yeah. literally, you know, it's, it's a little spot that's still here. The Arsenal Mall used to be right there where they're building the, um, the, the Arsenal Yards that we just talked about. So you used to do the bulk of your shopping over there. This is all that's left until that's finished. But yeah. you know, right now it's still here, it still works, it's still great. So come check it out. All right, so we stopped by one of my favorite spots in Watertown. Uh, this is also Joe with the North Star Group. How's everybody doing? Cool, cool. Uh, so it's called Branch Line. Um, they are basically known for their rotisserie chicken. Um, incredible stuff. The other thing I love about them is they'll do they'll take the rotisserie drippings, put that as a side, and dip your bread into it. It is high quality stuff. 
I'm a huge fan of the wine menu. It's great if you're into that kind of thing. It's also a really nice date spot. Uh, or if you work in the area, it's got a great location and their weekday lunch menu is really good. All right, so we just walked down the street. We're right in front of Commander's Mansion. Uh, it's a great venue spot for weddings, corporate outings. Uh, basically, beautiful in the summer, right by the Charles. Yeah, so you can actually rent it out. It's a public space. Uh, so I've been to both of those, both corporate events uh, and weddings. Uh, I had a family friend at a wedding here. So it's kind of a unique spot. Uh, it's got a very unique vibe. Uh, and you can see behind me, they've got a huge lawn space for all the activities and all that. So awesome little spot, right nestled right in. Uh, the Arsenal Yard area. We are uh, driving now through the residential parts of uh, the Watertown area by Arsenal Yards. So you can see it's you have living options of living in like the new apartment buildings or condo buildings, but there's also a ton of single family uh, townhouse and condo options around here where the streets are really nice. Yeah, some of these um, houses too are actually multifamily, so you get a couple two families yep. um, spotted around, so there is some mixed use living there. Um, like a lot of the city of Boston, right? You're gonna see some of those uh, two families turned into smaller condo buildings. Um, so that's over here as well. But you also have this really nice, almost, cause you're right on the border of it, but you know, that Belmont single family Tut-esque neighborhood, which is really nice. Um, and uh, it's, it's beautiful, nice, good, great schools. So it's a great little place to raise your kids as well. Um, and you're really close to the yard, so if you really want to go shopping, retail, all that stuff, you're literally like, what, a five minute drive away? Right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Super, super close to everything. Yep. And then um, also we'll, we'll drive by it right now and we'll throw in some, some cool B-roll shots from the drone. But um, you know, you're right on the border of Belmont and you're right next to Oakley Country Club, which is a nice little uh, golf course over here. Um, it is private, but it's not super outrageous like the Country Club of Brookline. Right. Um, so that's another nice little thing right here um, on the border of Watertown and Belmont. Yep. So cool little spot, great little area. You can see the golf course coming up on our left. Um, and for all you public hacks out there like me um, who can't afford that membership, <laughs> um, there's also, you know, it's in Cambridge, but the Fresh Pond Golf Course is like five minute drive from here as well. So this is Lots Watertown, right? Lots to do here. Lots to do. Lots to do.